Greetings. I hope you enjoy your ride today. How many contestants? I now know that there are three of you. That makes sense. Let me know if this is the first time on the ride for any of you. Oh, good. It's always fun to share the ride with a newcomer. We will also be sharing some instructions so you won't get lost along the way. So pay attention. May I have your name now? Good. Thank you. Oh, look. It's your turn to type, Player 2. Thank you. Player 3, let's show Players 1 and 2. How gracious of you. Thanks. Player 1, feast your eyes on the letter Q. This is your buzzer. That's Q, as in Qbert. Player 2, please use the letter B as your buzzer. That's B, as in Beulah. Player 3, you'll be using P as your buzzer. P as in Prairie Oyster. Again, welcome to the ride. And I'll see you at the bottom. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. This episode of You Don't Know Jack is brought to you by Bald D's Hair Restoration. A whole head of hair in about an hour. And now, please welcome your host, Guy Towers. Hey, welcome to the game. How's it going? Oh, <laughs> you really do need to think about Ava Gabor wigs, my friends. <laughs> All righty. First off, we got to give you your screws. All right, you can choose. Gonna get some screws. Here you go. All right, now pay attention, and I'll tell you about a new and improved way to screw your neighbor. When you see a question you don't want to answer, buzz in immediately and start hitting the S key. That's S for screw. Now, every time you do, you're going to be firing screws into the screen, totally annihilating the question. When you're done blasting, then you force your friend to answer it. That's called screwing flakjack style. So uh, if you're not the one dishing out the screws, you better be reading as fast as you can. All right, I hope you got all that. Ready to play? Because uh, here we go. Buzz in player three and let's see how much cash is riding on this one. Get ready for... Special today, wild hair. Hey, uh, take a look at this excerpt from a restaurant review. The salad was disgusting. The lettuce was limp and I found about a hundred hairs in it. Assuming he sheds the average amount, how long would the chef have needed to prepare this dish? A day, a week, a month, or a year? Player two, grab it! On average, people shed 100 to 150 hairs per day. Holy sh**. You know, this is exactly why I think everyone in society should wear a hairnet and uh, tissue boxes on their feet, like I do. Smack your buzzer, player two, and let's find out the cash value of this bad boy. Well, that, uh, that sucks. Oh well, category. I'm too sexy for your hairy butt. And away we go. Suppose this season's hottest fashion show featured hair shirts. What would you see on the runway? Kate Moss doing pe- Player 3! Woo! Player 3! Here comes the screw player! Big Dancer 3, how'd you do? Uh, I think this is your stop. All yours, Player 1! Hair shirts are garments that religious hermits wore to make themselves extremely uncomfortable. But let me tell you, that's nothing compared to some platform heels and a push-up bra, cause I, I mean, that's what I hear from the ladies that told me that. Player three, hit your buzzer and lock in the cash for this one. Good picking, all right, what do we got here? Ripping off Rachel's hair. Okie doke. Hey, you know how Rachel from Friends single-headedly revitalized the shag hairdo? 
Well, if Rachel from Friends were to demonstrate other meanings of the word shag, which of these would you not see her doing? Chasing fly balls with Joey, having steamy sex with Ross, teaching Phoebe a new dance, or giving- Player one! Hey, if they're doing it, it's called shagging. And if they're doing it on shag carpeting, it's called rug burn. <laughs> player two, player three, come on, who won? Player two! Hey, kiss my f***ing ass. <laughs> you go, player three! No, shagging can mean retrieving fly balls, and joeys are usually high and outside. Oh, <laughs> uh, is it this one? Shagging could be dancing, chasing fly balls, or British slang for doing the nasty. But the deer is a stag. Come on, none of the friends ever go stag. Player one, buds in. How much cash are we gonna make on this one? The category is... Most likely to be ashamed of this award. Hey, uh, you remember those silly elections in high school? You know, like most likely to succeed, or most likely to get married, or I don't know, most likely to stalk Jennifer Aniston? Well, considering their hair colors, who would be voted most likely to have the fewest hairs at Riverdale High? Archie, Betty, Jughead, or Veronica? Player three, do it! No, Jughead was voted most likely to have a jugged head. Player one, player two, hit it, player one! No, Betty, being a blonde, has the most hair, which of course is why she has the most fun. <laughs> player two, make your move! Take it, player two! On average, redheads have the fewest number of hairs on their heads. Freaks. But, you know, their hairs are reportedly thicker than any other color, so he can drive that jalopy of his without a helmet. Okay, player two, hit your buzzer and show us how much cash we're playing for. And the category is... Real men use bold hold. Okay, finger on your buzzer. This one's worth $34.95. Which of these 80s musical acts had the smallest hair? Bon Jovi, New Kids on the Block, Richard Marks, or Motley Crue? Player two! Compared to these other guys, the New Kids were all pretty clean cut. Huh, I guess long hair was the only thing that wasn't manufactured for him. Player two, hit your buzzer and let's see what's in the kitty. Player two, nice going. Hey, players one and three, go bother someone else. Player two's doing a diss or dad. The category for this diss or dad question is... Gee, Grandma, what big hair you have. Okay, I'm gonna read off the names of seven things. For each one, you're gonna tell me if it's someone big, someone covered in hair, or someone big and hairy. As each one comes up, if it's someone big, press one. If it's someone with a lot of hair, press two. Press three if it's both. And if you're not sure, press four. Cash in for each one you get right, but you lose out for each one you get wrong or that you don't get to. You got 30 seconds to nail all seven. Keep an eye on the wire. When it fills up, you're done. And we're up. Now, big hair in the boat. King Kong. Godzilla. Cousin It. The Nutty Professor. Seven out of seven. Damn! Hey, looks like player two's the one to catch here. Uh, let's do it. Okay, player three, hit your buzzer and show us how much cash is up for grabs. And your category is... Train to be a bitch, or just act like one. Ready, set, here you go. Considering the season in which hair grows the fastest, which season should be the busiest for a modeling school's Hair Flipping 101 course? Spring, summer, fall, or winter? Blair Got answer, player two. Good answer, too. Let's see how you did. That's right. Work it, baby. And hey, during those inactive months of winter, you can take discreet places to vomit 101. You know, to keep that waif look going. 
Oh, first rule, player one. Be careful who you screw or it's going to come back to haunt you. <laughs> All right, player two, buzz in and show us how much dinero is in the jet. Hungry? It's roadkill time. All right, let me tell you how this game works here. You're gonna get different pairs of things that are somehow related, and you're gonna see a series of items that may or may not connect the pair. It's your buzzer when you see the item that correctly links the two. I'm giving out a thousand bucks if you get it right, but choose wisely. You lose a thousand dollars every time you're wrong. At the end, there's going to be a bonus question worth bonus cash. Let's just say you should pay close attention to all the correct answers. Got it? Good. We're off. Favorable mention and stops up a drain. What's the connection here? What do all the correct answers have in common? Are they all popular styling products? Bubbles to Bill characters? People with big hair? Unfortunate to pay? Hair styling technique! Nailed it! Rack it up, player two! Look at the current standings. Hey, player two's in the lead. Okay. Player two, hit that button. Huh. Well, it's better than nothing. And it's going to be called... Activists wear short shorts. Look out, here it comes. Suppose Nair promoted a joint product with the organization Nairal. What would ads for Nairal most likely promise you? Reproductive freedom and hairless legs. Animal rights and a tidy bikini line. No nuclear... Take it... For three, let's see. What question are you answering? Player one, player two, grab it. Every animal has the right to a clean, hairless pubic area. Player one, you hit it, player one. Social security? Huh, what's that? Oh, I'm sorry. We were looking for the correct answer that time. NARAL is the National Abortion Rights Action League. Who says that feminism and hairy legs have to go hand in hand, huh? It's your buzzer, player three. Let's see how much Muda is in the kitty. And for your viewing pleasure... You dirty rat's nest. Here comes the questione. Say the guys who rat out the mafia get ratted as punishment. What salon treatment might they receive? A chemical bath, a severe combing, a painful braiding, or cement extensions? Player two! Am I right? Hello? <laughs> who wants all yours, player one? 
Hey, with these cement extensions, you really look your best when you're sleeping with the fishes. <laughs> you go, player three. You're soaking in it. <laughs> okay, excellent. Good job. Yeah, try this one. Hair is ratted or back combed with rapid strokes to give it volume and shape. Yeah, looky here, see? You rat again and you get the blow dryer, see? Yeah. Okay, player three, buzz in and set the cash value. This one will be... Old actors never die. They just get tinted. Here's the question. Suppose cast members of the musical Hair were replaced as often as Hair is on a human head. What would the producer most likely tell the new cast members? You won't last six weeks in this town. You'll be waiting tables again in a year. In five years, you'll be washed up. Or you'll be milking this role for decades. Player two, grab it! Will someone bring me a gun, please? <laughs> Hit it, player one! Excuse me, waiter. Didn't I see you dancing around naked on stage in some stupid musical? <laughs> well, I guess I did. <laughs> My. <laughs> Alright, player three. Player three, go! Yep, after five years, they'd be looking for a new part. <laughs> Get it? Hair? Part? <laughs> <sighs> okay, let's move on. All right, player three, buzz in and let's see the cash value for this one. Hello, you're not player three, are you? This baby's gonna be... Looks like Meathead's been washing his back again. Question's coming. Because the actor who played one of his buddies moonlighted as a commercial spokesman for Liquid Plumber, who might Archie Bunker... Take it, player two. Come on, all yours, player one. Huh, you sound a little wheezy. Hey, take a shot, player three. You go, player three. Alan Melvin, who played Barney Hefner, was also the liquid plumber guy in the 70s. You know, he was also Sam the Butcher, so we can assume that he kept Alice's pipes clean, too. <laughs> Whatever that means. Okay, player three, hit your buzzer and show us how much cash is up for grabs. Welcome to the Jack Attack. I'm gonna be throwing a bunch of words up on the screen. Buzz in when you see two items on the screen that match. Each time you're right, you make money. And each time you're wrong, you lose it. Now here's the thing. Not any two items that go together are necessarily a match. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Hairstyles of the odd and famous. You've got the clue. Let's see what you can do with it. Later. Hey, player three, at least you saved face with that last one. Hey, at least you beat out player one.
You've seen the award-winning TV show. You've bought the 32-part video set. Now, get ready for the next wild step. The Trials of Nature Porcelain Figurine Series. See the adorable field mouse. In the jaws of a hawk. The feisty buck-toothed beaver. Drowning in his river home. The graceful snowy egret. Vomiting up food for her young. Call now, and you'll also get the limited edition grizzly bear. Believing himself in the woods. Animals doing what they do best. Making treasured memories. This Friday, the Home Entertainment Channel brings you Catholic Confessions. Hear and see the deepest secrets of these faithful churchgoers through the use of hidden cameras in a confessional booth. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Could you please speak up? and lean back slightly. Watch as these hellbound sinners make a break for heaven. Well, I, I covet my neighbor's wife. And does she covet you back? These priests have heard it all, and now so will you. These are some of the most original sins ever. Could you describe these impure thoughts? Explicitly? Please, it's important. Remember, if they weren't guilty of something, they wouldn't be here. Friday on AGC.